Where can you have breakfast for 60 cents, folks? I mean, that's awesome. McDonald's? Dude. Well, you're not gonna get filled <laughs> up. You're not gonna get filled up there, though. <laughs> and it's not as good. Good morning, wherever you may be. Ah, uh, we are here in Solsona, Ilocos Norte. And I'm here at a local farm that we ate, uh, I think, around Christmas season. And we're here in early February, and the farm has really changed. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the proprietor that's here, uh, that, or our host, and actually JP's friend, I'm there, JP's friend, um, had been cooking for some time, I think for locals and such, right? So this here is Mama Pink's Kitchenette. This is the name of the restaurant here. And it's only been up and its grand opening is today. So in a little over a month, this has already been put up. Everything new here. And um, we're going to try, I think, three or four different types of soup for breakfast this morning. And those are the, and that's just the menu. Um, so I'm going to show you the footage that I took of the last time we were here around Christmas time and see how wonderful all that farm food was and we're going to try um, the proper restaurant food here. You cannot have a fiesta or a party without some lechon, which I think I would agree with. And I always want some piece of skin. There you go. A crispy skin. Oh, crispy skin. Whoops. It's so slippery. Show the back. Oh, some more skin here. On your plate. Plenty of lechon here with lots of skin. I'm gonna get some skin on here. That's a bite right there. Lots of skin. So they just added more of that paper thin skin. And you can see nice fat content on there. Nice thickness to that. And because they gave us a plate exclusively of lechon skin, here's more lechon skin porn for you. <laughs> Good lighting here. This ring is really magical actually. I'm gonna pick up another one. <laughs> Some people are so now I figured out more people are more nervous on camera than I ever thought. So yeah, so the aforementioned Mama Ping is legend right here at the kitchen. <laughs> legend. Local legend, yeah. She will be so even the kitchen here is very, it feels like a very comfortable type of space. She explained that her kitchen looks. is far from where the dining area is because yeah. she doesn't want the smoke. She doesn't mm -hmm. like enough, that to be, enough, enough. she doesn't want people to smell the smoke yeah. right now. <laughs> uh, oh, this is my bagnet. Oh. Uh, look at her bagnet. Oh. Ooh, but Bagnet! Yeah, I've never used a king card. She says she's nervous. Yeah, I wouldn't be. That's awesome. So her, her Mickey is mm -hmm. like... Mickey's a soup that usually has one egg featured mm -hmm. in it as their main 
staple, but she's doing something different. She's going to put a knit in it instead of. Okay. All right, guys, it's time to eat. They've put the food down, I think, minutes before we wanted to go to the kitchen. So hopefully it didn't get too cold. The first dish here is the peanut pie tan. So I think I've featured this soup more times than I have anything else. I mean, it's like the third time. So, or is it paxio? Yeah, it's No pie it. No pie Okay. So this is what you was called paxio. For me, it's almost like saying sinang lao though. Yes, same thing. I think this is more like sinang lao. So, so this is more like an innards a beef innard soup but there is no bile or pait in Ilocano um, so you're not going to get that bitterness you're just going to have that nice um, beefy flavor big rich beefy flavor here we got some fatty bits and then we've got a lot of fatty bits so I think this is going to be really rich almost like buttery rich so they've cooked this in the past for us and it's part of like our picnics here but this looks quite different. There's more cow skin here. So I think it lends, will lend more gelatinous texture. And that's the reason why this, if you look so close, the broth is super, it's like thicker. Look at all that, those bits of fat in there. If you can see that. I'm gonna give this a try, just the soup. Mmm. Just as I thought, it's rich. Yet, you know, mouthfeel is right. You know, not too oily. It's a bold beef broth, yet it feels clean. Mm -hmm. It's both. No gamey flavor. No gamey flavor at all. And to f and probably what we should be doing is taking a bit of calamansi here to add a little more um, freshness, I think. To cut against the fat. Yeah, to cut against that fat, because you can see here there's a lot of gelatinous stuff. This is more gelatinous than anything. And there's less innards here. Oh, okay. One free slice of calamansi. Okay. Let's add some citrus. There we go. Good. Yeah. Now I'm just going to mix this up now. Let me try that broth again. Just the broth. Mmm. Not too much, just a nice brightness to that. Well, freshness keeps it really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try all the bits now. Look how, look at the ratio of... the fat to uh, meat, or skin to meat, fat to meat. Give me that one. So I gotta tell you, I uh... Drank yesterday, a bit of a hangover. This is perfect hangover food. Mm -hmm. All that fat in your system. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> this is the perfect. Yeah, JP's absolutely on point. This is the perfect hangover recipe for the morning after, people. Mm -hmm. So here in the locals, especially, no one really drinks beer. They like to drink like you know hard liquor straight up. So, you know. If you're here and Filipinos love to party and Ilocanos love to drink even more, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, this, I think, is all popular. Especially here on a Monday morning, you gotta go back to work, <laughs> yeah. right? And going back to work, meaning going back to the fields, I think. <laughs> yeah, you can till that land with confidence after this. So there isn't really a lot of innards in here, people. So there's only maybe a little bit of, you know, tripe or intestine. But it's really just a lot of meat, a lot of fat, a lot of skin, and it's just a very beefy flavor. But, but, still feels refined. It doesn't feel too much either. So this is absolutely the right balance. Great mouthfeel. Um, nice texture if you love the gelatinous butt bits, especially if you love putting like beef tendons in your pho, like lots of it. Yeah, you're gonna be feel right at home with this. This is lunch for you? Yeah. But we've we've got a few more soup dishes to try because her menu it consists only of four different dishes. So it's a Yeah, so it's a pretty limited menu. We got to try all of them. This cow skin, they had to boil it down for 4 to 5 hours. And so, you know, just for it to get gelatinous tender. 
and that just adds more you know character to the soup as well it does two things really right texture mm -hmm. and the character you're right mm -hmm. absolutely so I think that's a pretty thorough review of this this is excellent by the way excellent paksiu sinang lao if whatever you want to call it and we're going to try some more soup dishes in a bit as well this is a Mickey soup and Mickey well let me see this is a quite distinctive type of Mickey not really traditional so typically they add one egg here instead you get crispy deep-fried pork known as bagnet and this looks like the soup almost looks like an annatto seed type of color orange type color so let's see I'll give this a try hmm I taste bits of fried garlic in that and then you can definitely taste the fried pork fried garlicky bro yeah bagnet and then you get these um, thick white noodles as well she also is using the those are the moda noodles from Lawag ah oh, yeah that's what I thought these are what you call so in Lawag they have a sp or nearby Lawag city uh, they these are Lamoda noodles it's quite a specialty there that's what she's using in the Mickey and this I think is a great bite some fatty pork some lean meat and some noodles with some broth noodles have a silky smooth texture don't expect a ton of chew out of them they just you know glide past your mouth or past your tongue very smoothly and I think the flavor is really about that pork and really about that garlic in the broth quite simple I think maybe it could use a little more calamansi and some vinegar some spicy vinegar maybe okay mix that mix that up together and by the way the calamansi is grown on the farm as you'll see in the footage here So farm fresh calamansi in our soup with noodles, pork, and some broth again. As you expect, citrus adds a bit brightness. And I really think it's all about the quality of the ingredients that really shine. Especially the pork is really impressive. Now, I tend to think that's more of like an extra flavoring or something that's kind of makes it unique or over the top. But it, really the pork is very well done. And what dry, and I like that garlicky broth too. Third and last soup they have on the menu we're going to try is something they call highball. So you showed that paksu or sinang lao from earlier. So you notice I said that this soup is really rich and really good. The problem is for me it needs a little contrast from the fattiness from it. But nothing to take away from it. It's very good. It's amazing. It's just a really beefy, fatty, tendony soup. So. That's what I think highball is. It, it contrasts with, with noodles. These look like Canton noodles, Chinese style noodles, with some carrots and cabbage. It's like pancit in a bowl. This is actually, to me, this is actually more like Mickey than that is Mickey. <laughs> so this looks more like a traditional Mickey, but made with asinang lao. So this is a kind of a fusion of dishes. First, let's try out some soup, just the broth alone very different this one just tastes like very comforting clean chicken soup More chicken flavor I'm not really getting like the beefy richness gotcha. really even though this has beef it has seen um, even some innards from there so I would say, like, this but there is but it has beef parts it just has like a taste like the soup just tastes more chickeny right rather than beef so it's a very comforting type of soup broth but really you know refined mm -hmm. I, I would say that this cooks you mm -hmm. you're on a keto diet perfect for you no carbs yeah this one if you want more of a long-lasting yeah. energy source 
And you know what? This is amazing for the price, and I'll tell you about that later. But I'll just try some of those noodles with some meat and some broth. It's more like traditional Mickey or like Canton noodle pancit in a bowl with broth. I think this has some of that cow skin on there. It's like a little bit of butter to that, I think. To those noodles. So, I was expecting this to taste more like a fusion of the Sinang Lao with this. It's very different. They're very different despite having the same beef parts, but I think there's more um, vegetable influence to this. And that's the reason why you get a much different like chicken noodle soup flavor from this rather than the big bold beef soup from this. So these, all three of these are very distinctive. So someone kindly added a vat of fried garlic, which I think will be essential for this. I think it's um, good soup, but I think it needs some sort of bold punch. So I'm just going to take some garlic flakes. I don't know if you use your hands, whatever. I think I'll just add as many as I want. Uh, one more dog would do. There we go. Lots of it. We had that well incorporated. Then we really got some... I think it would be amazing. Let me put that there. And a bit of fried garlic. Yeah. That's what it needs. <laughs> Everything with fried garlic makes it amazing. You know what? It was a really good mix for this. I'm going to take this Miki that Dad got full off of that one bowl of Paxio, so I'm just going to take this. We've been sitting out for a bit. A bugnet and put some garlic. Because I told you that the broth lens of real fried garlicky flavor well i guess you just amplify that to the power of 10. with some pork there's the bite with this by putting from some fried garlic flakes doesn't add a ton to the flavor because it's already garlicky on its own but for the meat for um the highball does wonders, I think. Try to put some final verdicts on our three different types of soup. Here's the Sinang Lal again, or the Pak Siu. There's our Mickey with the crispy bagnet, and this is the highball with the Sinang Lao with the noodles that doesn't taste like Sinang Lao with the pan sit in a bowl. <laughs> now, both JP and I agree that, you know, we don't like pancit much, or at least this preparation, and you'll see in one of our past videos that, you know, we don't really care for best, it. Yeah. Except when you put mushrooms in there. I mean, <laughs> it has to be a special type of mushroom. So, this one, if there has to be an odd man out or an odd person out, I guess it's this one. Um, now, if you like pancit, I think you'll like this. Pancit in the bowl. This is more like your traditional Mickey. If you had it elsewhere in the country, this is more up your alley. Uh, personally, not for me, but I can see how it would meet your taste. Um, I'm going to move along to this Mickey here, or what she calls Mickey. So, what's different about it is you have these wide, translucent noodles called La Moda noodles, and with the crispy bagnet. So, again, this is your untraditional Mickey that she makes. And this is very good. I mean, Right now, I can tell you it's a very close second to this, and I'll tell you why. So, one thing I'm really impressed by is this bagnet here, which I'm not... I'll find out if um, where she, how she makes it or how she gets it is actually really good. And it stands up very well to the soup. Typically, if you're trying to put like crispy fried chicharron in soup, it kind of melts and it falls apart that skin doesn't get all crispy anymore, it gets gummy. Mm -hmm. And then, you know how when you eat crispy fried pork, especially with the fatty bits, some of it gets too gloopy, and then it it's not as pleasant a texture? And some people who don't really like eating pork, I think, are really turned off by that. But this bugnet has like the right layers of crispy skin, not too much fat, just enough, mm -hmm. and the lean meat is juicy. And then these noodles, 
play nice compliment too. There's nice silky smooth texture. They're not, you know, the types that you expect like El Dente or have tons of chew. But it's just nice silky smooth slidey texture from that. And then the broth itself doesn't really need the extra garlic because it has the nice fried garlic essence in there. And then number one, despite, you know, it being a little too rich and perhaps needing more organ meat or solid meat, I think this one is the clear number one. Because of just the beef, the bold beefy tendon broth. You I mean, not really tendon, but all that gelatin, all that fat that renders in there. It almost feels like you're eating extra tendons in your soup. So there you go. That's our you know, three favorites. JP, you got any more chime in? You can tell by the ratio, which is number one, two, and three. <laughs> With the amount that's left. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's really delicious. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all for a good price. Okay. And should we talk about price? Sure. Okay. So this little wonder here in the middle only costs 30 pesos, this Mickey. Mm -hmm. um, and that comes out to 60 cents in U.S. currency. 60 cents. Where can you have breakfast for 60 cents, folks? I mean, that's awesome. McDonald's. Dude. Well, you're not going to get filled <laughs> up. You're not going to get filled up there, though. <laughs> and it's not as good. Okay. And then this Sinang Lao and this Pansit in the bowl, they cost only 50 pesos. No, so Actually, the Pansit in the bowl it costs 30. Oh, it is also, 30. Yeah, okay. It's also 60. So it's also 60. And look, the bowl size is even bigger. So you get to eat more noodles if you want it. Or more Pansit in the bowl. This is really expensive. This, so is, this is super is, expensive for... <laughs> so this is the premium option, the Sinang Lao. It is only, it's 50 pesos, which comes out to one US dollar. So that's awesome. awesome and I think deal. if you come out here in, you know, way off the touristy trap here, yeah. or way off the touristy path, and have you some some of this goodness, you'll probably eat like three bowls of this. Yeah. It's that good. It's delicious. I mean, it's good. I mean especially yeah. when you put the calamansi in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that calamansi and you add some freshness there. And it's fresh grown, right? And I mean, it's fresh grown too. So it's kind of a nice place to just stop and eat, even if you're out mm -hmm. here in El Ocos Norte. Mm -hmm. Your Solsona? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, especially here in the local mountains, I think the only real thing to do around here is just go up to the mountains, go swim in the river and such. Yeah. So, once you've done that, or even before you yeah. do that, or make two trips, yeah. one, <laughs> one, one to and from yeah. the mountains and the rivers, <laughs> right? So, you see all that wonderful... Get you some know, energy from the carbs, and then uh -huh. have yeah. lunch here afterwards. Yeah. After breakfast. Yeah. It's really a good price. Yeah. So Take 20 of your friends, your family, mm -hmm. and I yeah. mean... And I assure you guys, if awesome there's no real visitors up here as far as the mountains and the rivers go, um, you know, especially if you're on a weekday, so, you know, you have the place all to yourself. So that's like the untapped Philippines people keep on talking about. It's kind of the tre hidden, hidden gem, hidden treasure. Yeah. It's a, a spot. And I've given you another hidden treasure. Yeah, this exactly. Stuff, which is actually yeah. open today. Today in February of 2020. This place here, um, this place is this noodle shop, which I don't know if the menu will expand from here for now, but just know that you'll get these three wonderful soups, but especially this Mickey, the constructed Mickey, and then this Sinang Lam. Those are two yeah, things to get. <laughs> so here's our camera shy chef. Camera shy chef. <laughs> camera shy chef, who makes some of the best bagnet and lechon in the country. Yes. Oh, in Solsona. In Solsona. And she owns this place, this restaurant, and this farm, and again, owns some of the best. Manang Ping, yeah. Some of the best cooking in the country. Yeah. Out here in the country. So, if you make a right turn off of the Wag, you'll find yourself in this tranquil valley of three little towns Pidig, Dingras, and Solsona. And this is the farm in Solsona, Raddy's farm in Solsona. And this is where you can find this magical place. And I think on that note, that ends this video. So, when you see all these classic antiques here, they're all signs of an empire that, you know, never ended. 